Hi guys, welcome back for another thrift haul. If you haven't done so, be sure to subscribe. Let's jump into the first item. I found this faux marble planner at a place called Shep's here in Jacksonville. It's sort of like a thrift store because, I mean, you really have to dig. I'll be sure to go to that store one day just to do a come thrifting with me haul so you guys can see uh, what that store actually looks like inside. Anywho, I thought this planner would perfectly house my existing IKEA plant and it it totally did. It worked perfectly. Um, with a price tag of $1.99, I couldn't pass it up. It's especially great for adding a nice decor element to your coffee table, your bookshelves, or even in your kitchen. I've linked a few similar items down below for you guys, just in case you're interested. Next up is this amazing copper and concrete tray. When I saw this piece, I knew I had to have it even before I saw the price tag. And y'all know I typically have to check that price tag before even like committing to, to something. So yeah, I already knew I was getting this piece. But when I turned it over and it was only $5, I think I did a little praise dance right there in the aisle, y'all. Like for real, that just made my day. These little trays are a perfect way to corral all of your pretty perfumes. You can use them on your coffee table. They're also great to use in the kitchen, guys. You can use them, um, just add a vase of fresh flowers, your kitchen soap, and a nice little candle, and boom, you're good to go. I also found a set of taper candles. They were only $2 and I thought they would look so good with my vintage brass candle holders. And what's funny about these candles is that they had a French company name on the sticker. So I Googled that and this company didn't even manufacture candles. Like they didn't even make candles. And then I noticed another sticker was underneath it, which had an actual candle company on it. So um, that company is called Calvert Candles candle company and it's in calvert texas i hope i'm saying that right and i also found out that these candles are hand rolled beeswax candles how cool is that another little trinket that i found is this small little plate it's in a mint green color with gold lines going all around the perimeter. It was only 50 cents and makes the perfect dish to house my rings or my little stud earrings in. And pieces like this can go on your nightstand. They can go in the bathroom or even next to your kitchen sink. You know, sitting on that little uh, copper tray that I thrifted. <laughs> Speaking of trays, my newly thrifted stemless wine glasses look so good on this tray. All you need is a bottle of wine and you have a cute little $8 setup. These wine glasses were only 99 cents each and I got a set of three. Now, that always seems to be the case when I thrift wine glasses. I rarely find a set of four. Nonetheless, these were a great find and the price was right so I got them. Next, I got this leopard print candle holder. I'm not 100% sure what it is, but I do plan to use it with a candle inside. I think the light from the candle is going to be so pretty reflecting off the amber colored glass. This little guy was only $2 and it's another great like piece to add to my coffee table and it makes a bold statement against my black, white, and gray tone. The only kitchen item that I have is this Copper Chef 
deep square pan. This item, guys, retails for around $50, but I was able to score it for $3. Like, where they do that at? It looks practically new, if not new. Um, all I have to do is clean it up, disinfect it, and I'm ready to cook. I've wanted to try Copper Chef pieces, but I didn't want to spend the money for a product that, you know, like may or may not work because it's supposed to be like non-stick and all that stuff. So I didn't want to spend the money if it really wasn't non-stick or if it really, you know, didn't live up to the hype. So in this case, if it doesn't do what it claims, I'm only out of $3 instead of 50 So that is a good deal for me. An outdoor item that I picked up is a set of Florida Gators seat cushions. My wife is a Gator fan, so I couldn't leave the store without these. They're perfect for games, camping, and any other, you know, outdoor activities in general. There's tons of storage compartments for holding your items. Like, you can even fit a small umbrella in here. Um, I tried, so <laughs> you can fit an umbrella in here. They were only $2 each, and they retail for $28 at Walmart and $10 on Amazon, guys. So if you're interested, I'll link those below as well. Speaking of umbrella, I found one that clips to your folding chairs. Another super convenient item that we can use at the beach, outdoor festivals, or even at cookouts. This one was only a dollar and it retails for $5 at Academy Sports. I also found a set of three vases for 99 cents each. They have this like honeycomb shaped pattern all over them. And then they're like in a shiny black finish. They match great with my existing decor. I thought these would look good with like a single flower in each one kind of lined up on a shelf or either like on a centerpiece on the dining room table. So I thought these were a great find for $3. Something I found at the flea market a while back is a really cool table, I guess. Um, I guess you can call it a table. It has a top that opens and closes so you can use the inside for storage. The lid is broken. So for now, I just use my uh, like my trusty faux fur rug from Ikea to make it look a little bit prettier. Like I use this rug for everything guys it it just makes everything look so much better so uh yeah i got this piece to use as a decor piece in my photos or videos so kind of like a prop but it is still functional I found a cool piece of art at the Goodwill for $2.99. It kind of reminds me of those like colorful games in a daycare for the kids except in black. And I was thinking about putting this piece in my foyer or maybe in my hallway. I haven't officially decided yet, but I thought it was just a super cool uh, piece of art. So I went ahead and picked this up. The next home decor piece I scored from the Goodwill is this clear acrylic looking lamp. It was a major steal at $6.99 and I paired it with the lampshade from Target. There are three decor textures guys that I always gravitate towards, always run towards whether I'm thrifting or I'm shopping at regular stores and that is brass marble and acrylic like i love those textures so this clear lamp was no exception The last item in this haul is a set of kids learning cards. 
Well, I shouldn't say cards because they are a pretty decent size. I plan to use these as artwork in my grandson's uh, like play learning area and I thought they would look so good on the wall. And again, the black and white base colors tie in with my current color scheme and it's going to look so good. All right, guys, that's it for today's haul. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment your favorite item down in the comment section below. And until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.